We are going to check out the 10 best and most useful websites today, from editing photos directly in your web browser to making it easier for others to schedule time with you. Those are just a few of the websites that we're going to look at. Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, it feels like we're in the 90s. We're checking out cool websites. But to be fair, websites have gotten a lot more advanced since then. All right. Let's check these out. The first website is edit.photo. If you need to make quick tweaks to one of your photos, this is an excellent tool to do that. There is no login required and you simply drag and drop your photo in. Here, I'll take a photo of an average looking guy to see if we can make it look better. Within the photo editor, you have all the tools you would expect. You can rotate, you could flip, you could crop. Over on the side, you could also apply different filters. You could adjust the brightness, the contrast. You can resize. All of the tools are over there. And look at that. We didn't have to make any changes to this photo because it's already perfect. Up in the top right-hand corner, you can export as a PNG or a JPEG. You could also export as WebP, which is a new file format developed by Google. It maintains a higher quality image with less space compared to PNG or JPEG. You can also just copy the image directly to your clipboard. Next up, we have the website alternative2.net. This helps you find alternatives to just about anything. Let's take the software Photoshop as an example. It's a fantastic image editor, but it costs what? Let's see what alternatives are out there. Here we have GIMP. This is an excellent option. If you want to learn how to use GIMP, check out the video up above. We also have Affinity Photo, Krita, Paint.net, Photopea. These are all excellent options and many of them are free. At number three, we have Calendly.com. It makes it really easy for other people to book time with you. You know when you try to find a meeting time that works for everyone and you just end up going back and forth again and again? Yeah, you don't have to do that anymore. You can create a booking page. Here's my page. You can share this URL with others. Let's say someone wants to meet with me for 30 minutes. They can click on this option and then they can choose a day and time. And these days and times reflect what's available on my calendar. And yes, as a YouTuber, my calendar is pretty open. Why do you think I left my full-time job at Microsoft? My calendar did not look like this. Once someone books time, it'll reserve that slot on your calendar. You can set up different event types like a one-on-one -on -one or a group meeting. There's also a really cool feature called Workflows. Here, you can set it up so it'll send a text or an email reminder to all of your attendees automatically. You can also set it up so it sends thank you notes. It also integrates into services like Zoom, WebEx, and Microsoft Teams, so your meeting information is automatically incorporated. The basic version is completely free to use, and if you're willing to pay, you can get some of the more advanced functionality. At number four, we have doodle.com, and this is yet another service that makes scheduling meetings even easier. With Doodle, people can vote on their favorite time. In the top right hand corner, let's click on create a doodle. Here I could type in basic information about my event. On the next screen, I could connect it to my calendar or here I could simply select a few times that work for me. On the next screen, you can set various poll settings. Then on the following screen, I could type in my name and my email address. And finally, I can now share this out with others. I can copy the link or I could email it out. People can now come in and we can find consensus on the best time. Once we do that, Doodle will automatically send out a meeting invitation to all of our calendars. At number five, we have diagrams.net. And just like the name implies, you can pull together things like flow charts, org charts, wireframes, network diagrams, and the list goes on and on. There is no login or registration required. You can use it for free on the web, or you can even download a free desktop app. You can start from a massive catalog of templates. You can save your file to OneDrive, to Google Drive, or even just on your local computer. You can also work together with others on a file. 
you have a massive catalog of shapes that you can choose from as you build out your diagram. Here, I pulled together a sample flowchart for the Kevin Cookie Company, but please don't share this with any of our employees. I don't want them to realize how little management does in the cookie making process. At number six, we have the website userbenchmark.com. And this website allows you to compare the performance of CPUs, GPUs, and even more. So let's say for example that you're in the market for a new laptop from Dell.com. And one laptop lets you get an i5 processor or you could also choose an i7. Now I'm guessing the i7 is better. I mean, it has a higher number and it also costs more. But how much better are we talking about? And is it worth that additional price? Here, I can paste in both of those different processors into userbenchmark.com. And then I can see on a percentage basis how much better the i7 is compared to the i5. And then I could decide, is it worth that additional cost? At number seven, we have the website mentimeter.com. And this allows you to make your presentations a lot more fun and engaging by including quizzes, polls, and word clouds. Here on mentimeter.com, I'll click on new presentation. Over on the side, I can choose from many different question types. I'll select multiple choice. Here I can type in my question. I could also put down a few different options. Once I'm all set, I can click on present. And now my audience can go to menti.com. They could type in this code and as they vote for the different options, we'll see the results in real time. Not only can you use this in your browser, but Mentimeter also integrates into PowerPoint, Google Slides, and Keynote. At number eight, I'll keep this one brief because it only applies to my US audience. We have freetaxusa.com. I've used H&R Block and TurboTax, but I like freetaxusa.com the best. It's designed in a really intuitive and nice way. It also handles the most complex tax situations with ease. You could have rental property, you could run a business, you can buy and sell stock, and this will handle all of those situations. But best of all, the federal taxes are completely free to file and state taxes are only $15. At number nine, we have 10minutemail.com. And this is an email address that lasts for 10 minutes. Let's say you sign up for a service and they want an email address you could provide your actual email address, but you might also be signing up to join their mailing list and maybe you start getting a lot of spam. Instead, you can provide a throwaway email address that's only good for 10 minutes. During those 10 minutes, you'll receive email in your inbox. You can forward messages, you could reply to messages, but once those 10 minutes are up, that email address is gone for good. Kind of like what happens to my money when I try to play poker. At number 10, and this is really meta, you can create your own website for free at sites.google.com. And who knows, maybe one day we'll feature your website on this list. You can start from one of these many different templates. The website editor offers intuitive tools that you can use to pull together the website of your dreams. I mean, look at this beautiful website that I pulled together for thekevincookiecompany.com. In fact, I even have a video right up above that I'll show you step by step how I pulled together this beautiful looking website. And if you're willing to put forth $10, you can even have a .com domain go along with your website. All right, well, let me know down below in the comments, did I miss any awesome websites that I should include next time around? To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.